Man, if I was in high school and I could talk like that, nobody <laughs> would have ever messed with me. <laughs> You're coming at this project that already has this super dedicated fan base based on the comics. Was that fun for you guys? Was it a challenge? I think it's a responsibility. Like, we were very anxious about them loving the show because they yeah. love these characters from the beginning and they have them in their hearts and in their minds. And you want to be everything they want you to be. It's easy when you have the creator of the comics writing the show. We felt very supported and he takes a lot of the pressure off of us. Was there anything that you guys sort of went to him with? Oh, man. <laughs> this so, yeah, everything, 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 everything. Every yeah. day. He sent us playlists, <laughs> music to listen to for our characters. YouTube you know, videos, the time. Do Do documentaries. Punk rock documentaries. Yeah. And he even likes to ask us questions like, yeah. hey, what do you think Maria would do here? Was there anything that stood out to you guys that he sent or that, or even maybe you used as part of your process as a reference? He was telling me about the man Willie was kind of based off of. He would just seamlessly transition into this cold facade. And it made me think, wow, that's that's a real dude. It's not a caricature. He existed. Music factors in in a pretty big way. We, we had a wonderful scene and the director played the music that's yeah. going to be playing uh, during the scene and it changed it everything. So music a is a yeah. huge yeah. part of the show. Yeah. I shouldn't say it's always dark, but it can be like super dark. What was it like on set? Are you guys able to turn it off and then have fun with each other? In a lot of ways, it's a dark comedy. We have characters who are surrounded by all of this black. And, you know, we got some characters who, whose job it is to just shed light through comedy. And it makes it yeah. fun. And oftentimes we find that light shedding take place amongst the cast. Any scene or anything that while you guys were shooting it were like, this is very cool. I can't wait for people to see this. Um, every single every one scene. of the scenes. Yeah, the show. Slowly. <laughs> yeah. When we shot the scene where Marcus and Saya were on top of Koi Tower, they built the top of the tower on top of our production building, and you really got the sense that you were like, you were on top of a building. For me, it was the day of the death scene. Oh, it was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like, the streets were closed for us, and I don't know how many extras were there. Yeah. It turned out really great. Marcus's journal. That's a huge part of the comic. Do we see it? Marcus's journal entries are told um, mostly through uh, voiceover, as are his like his his thoughts in his head. But sometimes, occasionally, we'll get shots of him writing in his journal and and what he's writing. It frames the visual aspect. So as you're watching things, you hear his perspective. Did you guys have to do any kind of like? Fight training. Before the pilot, we had like a month of like mm -hmm. fighting, like and training mm -hmm. with the stunts. Right. Mine is more like dancing and, and flowy, and they have the band. And we also have amazing stunt doubles who make us look really good. They make us look good. <laughs> Were you guys familiar with the comics first, or did you get cast and then say like? I, I'm gonna go read this, or we like, I don't want to know. None of us knew about the comic before we got our auditions. When we were casted, they gave us all the comics and we read through all of them in like a day or two. You have to, right? Like the, the creator of the comic is your producer, writer, showrunner, and you want to know like what happens to the character so you can make smarter choices. Was there any point when you guys were reading the comics that you're like, that's what happens? Yes. Oh man, yes. you yes. have no idea. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Buckle that seatbelt. We <laughs> <laughs> <a> wild ride. <laughs> I used to read the comics, and that was a huge mistake before going to bed. Same. And I had nightmares. I'm like, oh Turning my god. Turning the lights no, off with those no. pictures in your brain. Yeah, that's not good. I had, I had great read dreams. it in the daylight. <laughs> Did you guys, when you were reading it, have like a favorite quote, a favorite moment, anything that you're like, ugh, I can't wait for that? Here at King's Dominion, we all bite. Oh, mm. I love that. That was so cool. Yeah. I love that. I was like, that. man. Man, if I was in high school and I could talk like that, nobody would have <laughs> ever messed with me. <laughs> if I had words like that, man, come on.